All right, now back to our other big story. It has been more than 24 hours now since that deadly shooting near the Texas A&M campus. Here's what we know at this point. The investigation still very active. Three people, a constable, an innocent bystander, and the accused gunman, Thomas Caffel, all fatally shot. Three more people were shot but survived. We have team coverage for you. Local 2 reporters Mark Boyle and Courtney Savala have been in College Station getting brand new information. We're going to start with Courtney right now. And Court, I understand that you spoke with neighbors who are still pretty shaken up about all this. Yeah, Dominique, you know, this was the scene uh, last yesterday at 4 o'clock. Not much has changed here. You can see this neighborhood, the street where these shootings happened, still blocked off. I can tell you anyone wanting to get into their home actually has to speak with law enforcement. They're logged onto paperwork and actually escorted to and from their home to pick up belongings. No one allowed to stay in these homes just yet. This is an active crime scene, and I can tell you nerves are still rattled here. It's been 24 hours since the deadly shooting rampage near Texas A&M, and this neighborhood is far from normal. Residents looking to go home can't. They're logged in and out only to retrieve necessities. Officers continue to gather evidence while others canvass the neighborhood, interviewing residents. And fair to say, nerves are still rattled. Soon to be A&M junior Hosmik Hosnian moved down the street from the shooting last week. Today, she had a police escort as she gathered her belongings to move out. I mean, you want to be comfortable wherever you are, you know, you don't want to go to sleep like worried or be restless, you know. I mean, it happened like around noon, you never know when something else can happen. Constable Brian Bachman was shot and killed in the front yard of Thomas Caffel. Barbara Holdsworth was shot and survived. She was actually visiting her daughter Sarah in this neighborhood. And Sarah is actually the president of the Tri Delta sorority. Her friends at the house declined to comment on camera, but did say they're shocked, but happy her mother survived. Other friends in the neighborhood spent hours at the hospital. The National Tri Delta Organization released this statement, saying in part, We're devastated to learn that our alumna members' involvement in this tragedy. Our thoughts are with her, her family, and all members of Gamma Alpha Chapter at Texas A&M. We hope for her speedy recovery. And back at the neighborhood, many residents say they never saw Thomas Caffall. He only is a block away, but no, I never saw him. That's shocking. I mean, I didn't. I didn't expect this, especially here. I can tell you this neighborhood is far from healed just yet from this story. Um, more than a dozen people have come by, put in their names on that log sheet with College Station Police Department. Now coming up at 5 o'clock, we're going to hear from a resident who said he moved from a big city to get away from violence, and College Station is the city he chose to raise his children. We're live in College Station. I'm Courtney Savala, KPRC, Local 2.